Welcome to the instructional video for using the interactive Category 1 Water Story Map, brought to you by the Division of Water Monitoring and Standards. This story map was a collaborative effort between the Bureau of GIS, the Bureau of Environmental Analysis, Restoration and Standards, and the Bureau of Freshwater and Biological Monitoring. Category 1 waters, or C1 waters, are known as the state's high quality waters that are chosen because they provide an exceptional resource significance. To date, New Jersey currently has designated approximately 32% of its total river miles as C1. This story map application provides an easy platform to access frequently asked questions regarding C1 waters, view map coverages of current C1 waters, and access map coverages of recent C1 proposals and adoptions. Once the story map is opened, users arrive on this landing page, which is open on the tab titled Introduction to Category 1 Waters. This tab is a general FAQ section which provides information on New Jersey's waters, anti-degradation protections, the basis for designating C1 waters, criteria, and more. To uncover the answer to each of the questions, click on each accordion. Some of the text contain clickable links to documents or to related rules. In this accordion, titled How Are Category 1 Waters Identified, users can access a video on slides that detail the selection criteria for each type of exceptional resource significance. Last, there is an accordion featuring a timeline of C1-related rulemakings in the state's surface water quality standards. Click here to view the timeline in a larger format. And that is it for the FAQ. The second tab of the story map is titled Map, All Category 1 Waters. When clicked, this map opens up with the line and point coverage. If you read the short blurb on the left hand side, it tells you that this story map features all C1 waters as a line coverage. And in 2003, the definition of C1 waters was amended to designate waters based on exceptional water supply significance, indicated by the water drop points on the map, exceptional ecological significance, indicated by the green turtle or insect points, and exceptional fisheries resource, indicated by the fish icons. also viewable in the map legend. Each point on this map coverage represents a basis for C1 designation since these categories were created in 2003. For example, if you zoom into a point, the West Branch Palpicating Creek, you can view information on the basis for why this segment was designated as C1. From the title, we can tell that it was designated based on exceptional ecological significance, exceptional aquatic community. The water body name is West Branch Publicating Creek. The stream classification is FW2NT or Freshwater 2NT. And all acronyms are written out in the legend. The description for this C1 segment states entire length, including all tributaries. The basis for this C1's designation was a non-impaired aquatic community, an optimal in-stream habitat assessment, exceptional water quality data, and low impervious surface percentage. And then last, you can see that it was adopted as a C1 water on April 6th. For more information on that rulemaking, you can visit the Surface Water Quality Standards page at the Rules tab and in Rule Amendments, a table of rulemakings by date is available to view each proposal and adoption document. The Address Search tool allows you to enter in an address to see nearby C1 waters. Let's do one right now. And this is the DEP headquarters office.
The Find My Location tool over here allows the app to set a pinpoint to where your current location is. You may have to allow location access um, on the device where you are currently accessing the application. And here is where it pinpointed my location. You can scroll using your cursor and drag the map by holding your cursor down. Or you can use the zoom in and zoom out buttons on the top left. Now on the third tab of the story map, you can view all related map coverages pertaining to the 2020 Category 1 upgrades and route reclassifications. Once again, the documents related to this rulemaking can be found in the Rules tab on the Surface Water Quality Standards page under Rule Amendments. Once you open up the map, you can see that only the line segments from the 2020 C1 adoption and trout reclassifications are checked off, along with counties. You can zoom in to view the C1 upgrades. You can click on and click off the basis points for each of the 2020 upgrades. You can also click to open up the rest of the C1 waters in the area, indicated by the pink lines. After that, there is the Surface Water Quality Standards Classifications of New Jersey layer, which opens up the rest of the waters in the state and may take some time to load. These are indicated by the colored lines. After that, there is the New Jersey Pollution Discharge Elimination System points layer showing all surface water discharges in New Jersey. Check off that layer to view it on the map. It shows up as black points. After that, there is the 14-digit hydrologic unit code delineations for New Jersey, otherwise known as the Huck 14 subwatersheds layer. Check off that layer to view it on the map. And then there is the New Jersey Pinelands layer. Check it off to view it on the map. If you click the arrow next to the title, you can see that the darker blue indicates the New Jersey Pinelands layer, and the lighter green indicates the New Jersey Pinelands Preservation Area. Then there is the Highlands Preservation and Planning Areas. If you zoom in, you can see that the darker blue outline denotes the Highlands Planning Area, and the hatched lines denote the Highlands Preservation Area. After that, there is the State, Local, and Nonprofit Open Space of New Jersey layer. If you click it off, this layer displays various classifications of federal, county, municipal and non-profit owned land parcels. And you can also open up the municipalities layer. Use the address search tool on the top to plug in an address to view any of the checked off layers in the addresses radius. Use the measure tool on the top right 
to gauge distances between two features on the map. First click this distance icon, then click your first feature, move your mouse, double click on your second feature, and it tells you the distance in this window, and you can set this to your desired units. Last, there is the Legends tool in this window which lists each of the acronyms for the stream classifications. If you have any further questions on using the C1 story map, please refer to the instructions available on the SWQS website or call the Bureau of Environmental Analysis, Restoration and Standards at 609-633-1441. Thank you.